Hello, how to solve t to the power of t to the power of 4 and this equals 64. So we are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, we can just copy out this question again. We have t to the power of t to the power of 4 and this equals 64. So if you observe, we have 4 here and because of this, we can decide to raise each part of this equation to the power of 4 because there is 4 here. So what we are going to do will be we have t power t power 4. We raise it to the power of 4 because we have 4 here. And this equals because we have raised this to the power of 4, we need to also raise this 64 to the power of 4. We have 64 to the power of 4. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to make use of this index law. If you have a to the power of m, raised to the power of m equals a power m, raised to the power of m. Now, what this means is that we are going to treat this t power 4 as a unit. So the t power 4 will represent the n that we have here. Then the 4 will represent the m that we have here. Now, we will now make use of this other part of the identity. Then the m will then be in the bracket, while the n will then be outside the bracket, just like this. So what we are going to have will be c to the power of we are now considering m and our m is 4 we have 4 and this is raised to the power of n and our n is the whole of this which is t to the power of 4 we have t to the power of 4 and this equals 64 to the power of 4 now, what next are we going to do? We need to observe something. The base here is t to the power of 4. And the exponent here is t to the power of 4. That means they are the same. The base and the exponent are the same. But in this other part of the equation, the base here is 64, while the exponent is 4. That means they are different. So for us to proceed with the solvings, we are going to ensure that the base, which is 64, and the exponents are all the same. So for us to achieve that, let's just copy out this. So I have 64 power 4. Now 64 is a delta square. That means 64 is 8 power 2. So I'm going to have 8 power 2, that is 64, raised to the power of 4. Have you seen it? So that also means that we can make use of this identity. If you have a power n, all to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So this means that we are going to multiply this exponent out. That's 2 times 4. So, this will then give us 8 to the power of 8 because 2 times 4 is 8. So, this becomes t power 4 raised to the power of t power 4 equals 8 raised to the power of 8. Have you seen it? Um, I've just replaced this 64 power 4 with 8 power 8. Now, having done this, the next thing will be for us to make use of this identity. If you have a power a and this equals b power b, now see the base and the exponent are the same, and the base and the exponent are the same, we can have a equals b. So, we can equate 
these exponents. That means we are also going to equate these exponents. So we are going to have t power 4 equals 8. So how do we solve for t? I need to eliminate this 4 in order to solve for t. And for me to achieve that, I can multiply each of the exponents by 1 over 4. I have t power 4 raised to the power of 1 over 4 equals, I do the same thing here. I have 8 raised to the power of 1 over 4. So from here, I go back to the same identity. You have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I'm going to multiply this out. That means I will simply have t power 4 times 1, that is 4 over 4, and this equals a power 1 over 4. Now 4 over 4 is 1. That means what I'm going to have will be t equals a power 1 over 4. So this becomes the value of our t. But we can still simplify this further. Now remember, 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. That means 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to replace this 8 with 2 power 3. So that means this will give us, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 4. Then I can apply this identity again. A power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times n. I'm going to multiply 3 times 1 over 4. So what I'm going to have will be we have t equals 2 to the power of 3 times 1. That is 3 divided by 4. So this becomes the final answer. Or you can as well make use of this identity. If you have a power n over m, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So if you apply this same identity right here, you are going to have t equals the fourth root of 2 to the power of 3. And knowing fully well that 2 power 3 is 8, like what I said earlier on, look at it here, 8 equals 2 power 3. So you can have your t equals the fourth root of 8. This is it, our final answer, fourth root of 8. So what we are going to do next will be to insert that particular value back and let's check if we are going to have this 64. So we have check our t equals we have 8 power 1 over 4 or we have 2 power 3 over 4 or we have the fourth root of 8. All of these are the same. So we can decide to make use of this formula because it is the base is simple. So I'm going to make use of this. I record the problem. t power t power 4 equals 64. I'm going to have this replacing t. So we are going to have instead of writing t, I have 2 power 3 over 4. Then this is raised to the power of we have 2 power 3 over 4 and this is raised to the power of then we have 4 equals 64. Now we are just going to make use of this index law a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. If you apply this law right here, we are going to multiply this exponent. And 
you have 3 times 4, that is 12. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So what you are going to have will be, you are going to have 2 to the power of 3 over 4, which is this. And this is raised to the power of 2 to the power of 3. Because this cancel this 4, so we have 3 here, just like what I did here. And this equals 64. So from here, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So you are going to have 2 to the power of 3 divided by 4, raised to the power of 8, and this equals 64. So what you are going to do is to multiply this exponent out. Multiply this exponent out. 8 times 3, that is 24. Then 24 divided by 4, that is 6. So you are going to be left with 2 to the power of 6, which equals 64. And 2 to the power of 6, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times into 6 places. This will give you 64. And this equals 64. So this has satisfied the solution, has satisfied the answer, has satisfied the equation. Sorry, so that is it. Thank you and goodbye. The solution has satisfied this equation.